Hey guys, welcome to another how to tips for the Android and in which I will be showing you guys a lot of tips that you usually search with the how to phrase on the Google or web. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can use really your, uh, you know, uh, the private mode of browsing or that Google really call it as incognito. So both are the same term, but just kind of some internet interchanges there. So uh, the private mode is the best way to browse the internet without leaving a trace of where you went. So you exactly uh, what it does and doesn't protect you from is often misunderstood. So incognito mode is excellent for checking out sites that you don't want anyone to know you visited. Or if you want to search a particular topic, you would rather not to be tied to your Google history because by default, if you sign into a, any of the Google services, really maintains all your stuff. So you can go and the settings there. Uh, if you click on the account, really all things uh, get maintained on your account. So you sometimes you need some of the stuff that you uh, that's your personal stuff that you guys can understand what you have to do so all right let's go but it's not uh, total privacy of all the internet activity uh, as isps or internet service prices and other sites can still track you here is how you use to use incognito mode and possibly benefits so first thing i want to show you guys how it works so when you browse with incognito mode the sites you visit won't be saved to your device history uh, nor will the chrome sync them to your google account all right so as far as Chrome is uh, connected, what happens in private mode or incognito mode stays there. They really never stored on the history and all. Okay, so there won't be a record on your device of any files you download. However, the files themselves will still be saved to your phone because either way you are downloading. So it won't show you if you check the properties when and all which state it will done. It, it won't show you. Incognito mode is useful, but it's not invisible mode. So that's why I want to clear it and understand how it works. So now see uh, how to launch incognito mode. So to get started, open the Chrome and select the overflow button right we call this overflow button and yes there is more tip uh, see i can enable this uh, tab page there uh, you can check out my previous video i will put the link down in the description you can re uh, simply do that by uh, enabling that disabling that feature merge tabs and apps so uh, watch the previous video for them so yes and click that overflow button and select uh, the new incognito tab you can see here right okay so you will see a new browser tab with a spy style icon to let you know that uh, you are uh, now in incognito mode, so managing your incognito tabs will be slightly different depending on whether you are not uh, choosing merge tabs or not. If you are done so, so when you touch a square navigation icon to launch the multitasking, you can see uh, if I click down here and it will switch you from the regular one. So there is how a very important thing. Uh, it can really, you can really jump to the private mode and you can really come back to here this one. So for, for example, let me open a new window out there. Uh, if I type here, um, say uh msn.com right i don't want to tell guys i am reading news so that's all so now if i click here uh, it shows here one of the new tab here uh, this is the regular one it will store your activity if you click down here it will show here all the incognito tab okay so otherwise they will be stacked together in just group or right of the regular Chrome tabs. Touch the number of icons here as I shown you guys uh, between switching to regular. So that's very really fast. Uh, you can do all the steps here. Also keep in mind that incognito tabs uh, uh, stay open permanently just like the regular tabs. You have to close them if you want them to. So for example, if you click here, uh, you got to see this uh, cross button here, right? So if you close it here, if you close it here, then you come to your regular tab. So in that way, uh, you can close that window too. If your apps and tabs are merged, then fastest way to close them all is to touch and close all the incognito tabs notification. So let me show you guys clear. Uh, if you guys go here and enable that thing. So that by default, this is the mode that Google Chrome works on. So I already shown in the previous video how to enable that. Click on the new incognito tab here. Okay. Uh, see, it's not showing any of the one. It shows internally here, not it won't record anywhere else. So as you have seen, uh, if I just click, uh, click on the, so this is how you work, uh, guys. There, it's really very nice feature to have that one. If you click on the new tab, and all things will uh, open here. And this is the regular tab that you will open. If you click on the recent tabs, uh, it will show you guys all the stuff that you have done. It's already gone from there. So that's very quick way guys how you can use it the uh, incognito tab and incognito went in the separate tab as you can see uh, that's work in separately let me open msn again here msn.co.in dot 
so you can see uh, both are running separately uh, msn has opened separately and here it has opened separately so if i merge the tabs uh, from here and uh, they will definitely come to the one and let me do it, do it again for you here if i just disable that feature so chrome will relaunch again and you can see uh, all the four tabs here and incognito window is gone right so that's it guys a quick how to test for how to use a private mode or incognito mode so give me thumbs up if you like that video don't forget to subscribe and watch all the previous videos like for the best and essential apps and a new annuity as for you so in case you have any concern query do let me know on my social accounts for twitter at gi support and on my facebook at gupta and system i will try to help you as good as possible so stay tuned thanks for watching guys have a nice day ahead